Okay guys, it's been about a year since I did this video, so I figured it might be fun to do a little update talking about what I really carry for a day bushcraft outing and for most of my bushcraft outings. This is very similar to what I'm normally carrying, and it's a simple kit that covers most of my bases. And without any further ado, let's jump right into okay, it. Okay, so let's start off with some of the more basic stuff. I've mentioned this before, but of course I do naturally carry my personal survival kit whenever I'm out in the wilderness doing bushcrafting, survival, hunting, hiking. This thing basically always goes with me, and as I've mentioned in the past, it has the core survival components to it. Five seeds of survivability, personal locator beacon, all that fun jazz is all whipped up into this kit. In addition to this, uh, another thing that I don't always carry, but sometimes I will carry if I'm scouting new areas or trying to find new locations for bushcrafting, is my GPS, and that's all that is in this kit, is my Organ 650T right here, and, you know, some batteries and extra accessories in this back compartment. So those two are pretty basic, pretty rudimentary stuff. Then moving over to more of the kit itself. So of course we have firearms and sometimes it'll be my Glock 21 with plus P45 ACP or sometimes it will be my 44 Magnum. Kind of depends where I'm going and what the needs of my situation are. In this case it's the Glock 21 but either a 44 Magnum or the Glock 21. Okay, so now getting into kind of the basics of it and the core set of the tools aside from all the other kind of, you know, ancillary equipment to keep me safe is my tools and they're kind of back to basics. I've found that, you know, uh, I've had some of these tools before and I'm kind of going back to them. So in a way, it's kind of back to basics, but it's all equipment that works really well for me and has worked really well for me in the past and now into the future. So the first is going to be my primary bushcrafting knife and this is worn as a neck knife and this is my Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. And I'm no stranger to the Bushcrafter but I have gotten this new Bushcrafter because I missed the old Bushcrafter so much that I was like it's time to uh, get a new Bushcrafter back into the fold. And so that is the primary bushcrafting knife for me when I go out on excursions. However, I do also use the Legome, the Aurora, and the Battle Lore in addition to the Bushcrafter. But the Bushcrafter probably sees the most time because unarguably it's one of my favorite knives uh, for the wilderness. And of course on the sheath I do also have a ferro rod attached to it for fire starting and all that fun stuff. Okay, so moving over to the pocket knife that I've talked about quite a bit. This is a great, great Eastern Cutlery Pocket Carver. And once again, it's just here to help with bushcrafting and carving practices. Uh, it's just a nice tool to offset the primary bushcrafting knife and is a really great little tool to have. Then moving into the last of the equipment, and once again, stuff that hasn't really changed too much is the Baco Laplander. I still absolutely love this guy, though I may be introducing the Silky Gone Boy into the system. I'm not 100% sure. I know a lot of people ask about or say I should get a Silky Gone Boy, but I do have a Silky Big Boy, and I honestly don't have any dislike against Silky, but I find the Baco and Silky to be really similar. So for me to go out and buy a Silky Gone Boy might be uh, a little bit. I'm not 100% sure on that because like I said, they're very similar saws and very similar performance. Though I believe the Gone Boy is just a little smaller than the Laplander. So anyways, both of the saws perform very well and I still absolutely love this Baco Laplander and I use the heck out of it. Lastly, and something that is, you know, pretty familiar with, pretty familiar to me, although this is a newer hatchet, is the Grants, Grantsfors Brooks Wildlife Hatchet. So this one is newer to me. I ha 
I have been carrying the Holtzbruch All Mic for a long time, but I wanted something that was still just a little bit smaller, and I honestly like GBA's edge on the Wildlife Hatchet the most because they take the edge really far back, so you can use this for a great many things as opposed to just using it as a you know hitting or striking tool like a traditional hatchet you can really carve with this thing and that edge is very fine and super sharp so that's why i chose to go over to the wildlife hatchet it is just a little bit smaller which is something i prefer and it also has a better edge in my opinion so anyways this is the gba wildlife hatchet and really really dig it i'm obviously never disappointed with any gba axe or hatchet that i've owned and i'm only going to get more in the future so anyways this is the wildlife hatchet and this is what i carry or i will carry the holtzbruch all mic but primarily the wildlife hatchet just because it's more of a size that i want to carry when i'm out uh, in the woods on a daily you know this is just a more it's an easier package to carry and I find it to be just a little bit superior, even though it is smaller. Okay guys, so that is what my kit looks like for 2020. As if you guys have enjoyed this, as always, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, God bless, and I'm out.